Brit. <laughs> Registered trademark of badass. Just here to blow your mind and make your dreams come true. Thank you. The Brit kind of combines my two loves of an old fashioned with Will Rye with just a little splash of champagne. You're only as good as the ingredients that you start with. And lucky for y'all, we have the best ingredients that there are. If we're not gonna use it in our own home, we're definitely not gonna sell it to you. Maybe a little bit of sugar, a little bit of water. We're just gonna stir. So what I'm gonna make for you first, for the Brit, is an old fashioned with Will It Rye, about to change your world. Make it a better place. Next, we're gonna add a few drops of bitters. Now, today we're using uh, barrel-aged orange. Best way to nose bitters and taste them is in the palm of your hand. Put a few drops of bitters in there. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of rye. This is the four-year. This is cast strength, non-chill filtered, raw whiskey straight out of the barrel. I'm gonna add a little ice. For the Brit, we're not gonna have an old fashioned the way that you would in your glass where you have it iced, it's actually served in a coupe. I like a champagne that's dry. I love the acidity. I love the way that it just bursts in your mouth. And I love the sound of champagne cork coming out of a bottle. Got another storm rolling in today. I actually like to do a good squeeze of orange directly into the cocktail. Stir it up there. These are maraschino cherries that are soaked in French brandy and they are divine. I just want to make sure that I made you guys a good drink before I poured it in your glass. I mean, any good southerner would. Oh, that's delicious. Come get a sip. All right, you ready for it? Now, try that. To the Brit, the one and only. I don't know that the world would handle two 